Hey YouTube, this is Sherelle. How y'all doing? I just wanted to drop in and say that I had uploaded some videos um, shortly after I did my introduction or welcome back to um, YouTube for me to my YouTube friends. Um, but those videos just wouldn't upload. They kept I kept getting stopped or um, I should say I kept being interrupted or when I went to upload it, it didn't upload properly. Then a voice my voice was before my actual mouth movement reminded me of Jackie Chan movies back in the day. Um, so uh, I remember watching um, videos and people would say that they was having troubles with um, uploading their videos. Well, I've experienced y'all. I've experienced it, y'all. My videos, and I'm going to have to redo them because um, I liked them. You know, they were talking about my little journey and I, I want to share my journey with everyone. Um, my journey, uh, my shopping journey, um, <laughs> and um, so um, I just got off work. Today is Thursday. Um, actually, I didn't just get off work. I got off work, and then I went over to my dance class, and I said in one of my videos that um, I hadn't been doing any dancing in um, a while, four or five months, and I can tell because um, my clothes are telling me. Um, I didn't realize how important it was to continue to be active even though I wasn't doing no cardio real heart cardio or any any form of exercise but when I stopped going to my dance classes which I usually go about three times a week um I the food that the foods that I like enjoy eating they just kind of hung on to my body and they won't it won't let go so I had to start going back to the classes um Oh, I forgot I got my glasses on, y'all. Excuse me. I don't wear glasses in the house. I wear them for driving. But anyway, I just got back in from my dance class, and I had a wonderful time. Um, it, um, I do The type of dance that I do is ballroom, Chicago step, Latin, salsa, um, hustles, any kind of hustles, any kind of song to come out. They got a nice beat to it here where I live. They're going to make a hustle to it. So I'm kind of... Like I said, I haven't been doing it in a while, so I'm kind of not up to par as far as with the hustles. Um, one of my close friends, my BF, she's here. She lives in Texas, but she's here um, for uh, a family emergency. So yeah, my praying friends, y'all pray for her, and her name is Pam. Um, just pray for her, the strength um, to get them through this, and Lord... He will make a way, one way or the other, he makes a way. So, um, but anyway, I um, finished dancing, got home. It's about 8.48 my time. I got to get up and go to work in the morning. I'm going to try to be there at 7 o'clock. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to be there at 7 o'clock because tomorrow's a long day. But um, I wanted to stop in. I do have a question, y'all. Y'all know I just recently moved. And so as I'm moving and, and um, unpacking stuff, um, I'm finding a lot of stuff. And I was going through my makeup. <coughs> I have to do a, um, have to rebuild my makeup collection because I found that um, some of my bare essentials makeup had expiration dates on it. And I didn't even realize. Actually, I hadn't even opened up the box, y'all. <sighs> but... Um, uh, it had it had expiration date on it, so I had to throw it away. And I thought I had put one up here, but um, I really like from Barry Essentials the well rested makeup, where you can put it on. Cause I I work all crazy kind of hours, and sometimes my sleep ooh is well needed. Y'all can see my little bags under my eyes. And I apologize for that. I'm glad my lighting is not too bright so y'all can't see how bad they are. But anyway, I like that well-rested stuff by Bear, um, Bear Essentials. And now since watching YouTube, you guys have told me a trick to do the same thing without using that well-rested. But I really like that concept. So I hated it. I had to throw that stuff away. But um, I've got to ask you guys a question. Does makeup have a shelf life? I mean, I don't keep stuff for three and four years and try to use it, but I just want to know, like your eyeshadows uh, and stuff. Um, I am. I just put an order in from, well, I bought some stuff from MAC uh, a couple of weekends ago, and 
I'm going to try some Mary Kay eyeshadows and um, the primer and stuff like that just to see. Uh, my girl told me, she said, girl, it's your money, but Mary Kay got some stuff. The only difference between Mary Kay and MAC, and see, I'm a Mary Kay, sorry, I'm a MAC, I'm a Mary Kay. Um, I use that for my cleanser, cleansing my face, that their stuff. I love that. My face feels so good, so soft. I stopped using that, and then I had to get back into it, and I really can tell the difference. But as far as makeup, I'm a matte girl, and um, I was telling my girl that does the Mary Kay, I was saying the only thing about the reason why, and one of my major reasons why I, I love MAC is because I can put the makeup on in the morning, and when I get off of work and come home after a long day, look at myself in the mirror when I'm getting ready to wipe the makeup off, still look like I just put it on. And I appreciate that. And she was saying, well, it's um, it, the difference with MAC is, I forgot what she said. I think she said because it's stage material or some stage makeup, whereas um, Mary Kay is more everyday, in which I, everyday work, I don't, I wanted some bold colors and stuff because I'm trying to get out my little box of just the warm colors and the everyday things. So, um so, but anyway, I'm going to try that out, and I'm going to do a, not a tutorial, because I don't know how to do that, y'all. I wish I did. But I'm just going to show y'all some things, and I'm going to try that for a while and see if I like it. And she was telling me the difference in the prices. Now, I don't know what size Mary Kay's um, eyeshadows are, but I will compare those to my MAC. I just love my MAC. Um, but she was telling me that the Mary Kay was like $6, and... Y'all know how much MAC is. I ain't hate no MAC. I like it. I love the lip glosses. That's what she said. Just try it. And so I'm going to try it and give it a try. And as much money as I spent in MAC a couple of weekends ago, I could have um, bought a lot more. But, like I say, I'm going to give them the test. And I told my girl at Mary Kay, if Mary Kay can stand the MAC test, I'll buy it. I'll be one of her favorite customers because... I can do some makeup. But anyway, and Steela Junkie 07, I know you got a challenge going on this month about no purchasing makeup. I, if you do it again, girlfriend, I will be right in there with you. But since I had to throw away so much of my makeup, not none of my MAC, but that bare essentials and stuff, only thing I have is a couple of Mary Kay um, little um, eyeshadows. I just bought some a blush. I have a couple of, I have Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. I like that too. Um, but I'm, I get overwhelmed by that because those are a lot of colors. But um, Steela Junkie 07, I understand why you're doing the challenge because just like I had to throw away all of my bare essential stuff, we purchase makeup and we just don't use it. And your challenge is a good way for us to um, use some of the stuff that we have without buying anymore. Next time you do it, I'm going to be around. I am just looking at how dark this lighting is in here. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I've babbled enough. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And yes, I am wearing the mommy wig, y'all. Oh yeah, I did my nails too. I'm doing my nails a lot. Can y'all can y'all see? We need to be redone. See at the bottom? I chipped it. But anyway. I'm having fun doing things myself. So anyway, bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.